Hello and welcome to the second tutorial in the Red Sky Productions Sony Vegas tutorials. First of all I'd like to apologise for the microphone, it's not very good and I'll be looking into getting a new one shortly. Okay, so today we're going to be working with the same concept as last time but making the text move while the flare is going across. I'll demonstrate that now. Okay, now we've had a look at what we're going to be doing today, we're just going to get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to do is drag our flare in, um, and then we're going to make a text media, and uh, sorry, a new video track, insert text media. I'm just going to call this Red Sky Productions. Okay, we're going to scale it down as well, just so it fits there, it's about good. Okay, then we're going to just apply the multiplier mask, which is what we did last time. Okay, so we're just going to do what we did last time, so we're just going to drag that down there. Scroll all the way to the end of the clip, which is... There. If you want to see how to do this in more detail, head over to the channel that's on there. So there we go, that's pretty much what we had last time. Let's bang on what we had last time. Just that scrolling text with the flare. Okay, now what we're going to do to make this a bit different is to have the text coming out at you while it's happening. So we're starting with keyframe 1, it's only two keyframes there, so it's not difficult stuff, it's for beginners really. I'm just going to go to all the way to the end of the clip, which is there. And we're going to zoom in all the way onto there. Hang on. And we'll go all the way to the S, which you can just about see. And zoom all the way in. So it, you can actually. Probably about there is good. And then put a little fade on so it doesn't look so rough. Play it back. And you can see it kind of it kind of looks cool. I don't really know what it is, but I thought it looked quite good. With the right with the right sound maybe it would look a bit better but there we go. Now the final thing we can do just to make that a little bit better is to add a bump map which you can do by searching bump into the um, video effects. Just drag the default one across onto the flare itself and put the intensity up to about six two one. Play it back. And you can see it a bit better and I think it looks quite a cool effect. So if you want to use that for an intro go straight ahead for it leave a comment like or subscribe us that really does help and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial